The midnight broadcast. It all started on a quiet, uneventful night. I was up late, as usual, scrolling aimlessly through my phone when I decided to tune into some local radio stations for background noise. As I twisted the dial, searching for something familiar, I stumbled upon a station I had never heard before. The static hissed, then cleared, revealing a haunting melody played on what sounded like an old, out-of-tune piano. The music was slow, melancholic, almost hypnotic, it pulled me in, filling the room with an eerie atmosphere. Then, a voice broke through the static. Cold, mechanical, unsettling. Welcome to the midnight broadcast, it announced, followed by a faint, unsettling chuckle. The voice was unlike anything I'd ever heard. It wasn't human, or at least, it didn't sound like one. There was something artificial about it, something that sent a chill down my spine. The strange thing was, the station wasn't listed anywhere. I checked the dial again but there was no number, no identification, just there. Curious and a bit unnerved, I kept listening. The voice continued, sharing cryptic messages and strange, disjointed stories. They were tales of despair, horror and madness. Stories of people who had gone missing, events that defied logic, and entities that lurked just beyond the veil of our reality. As the minutes ticked by, I noticed something strange. The stories became increasingly personal. They referenced places I knew, events from my childhood, and even specific fears I'd never shared with anyone. My heart began to race. How could this be? It felt like the broadcast was speaking directly to me. At first, I tried to rationalize it. Maybe it was a coincidence. Maybe I was just imagining things. But then the broadcast took a darker turn. It described in vivid detail, a horrific event happening right then in my own neighbourhood. A car accident on a street corner I recognised. A fire in a house just a few blocks away. My blood ran cold. I raced to the window, peering out into the night. Everything seemed quiet, normal, but the voice on the radio continued unrelenting. The midnight hour brings forth the truth, it said, and the truth is watching you. Panicking, I tried to turn off the radio, but the knob wouldn't budge. I unplugged it, yet the voice continued. The signal seemingly coming from nowhere and everywhere at once. Desperate, I smashed the radio, but even that didn't stop the broadcast. The sound shifted, now coming from my phone. I tried to shut it down, but the screen was frozen. The same eerie voice echoing from the speaker. I turned on the TV, hoping for a distraction but the image was distorted, filled with static, and the voice was there too. Don't try to run, it whispered. We're already here. My heart pounded in my chest as I backed away from the devices, but the voice was relentless. Then it said something that made my blood turn to ice. We see you, listening right now. Look out your window. I froze. My hand shook as I reached for the curtain, pulling it back slowly. The street outside was bathed in a pale, sickly glow from the flickering streetlights. And then, I saw it. Standing in the middle of the street was a figure, tall, motionless, and utterly featureless. No face, no eyes, no mouth, just a blank canvas where a face should be. It stood there, staring, or at least I felt it was staring, directly at me. I stumbled back, heart racing, gasping for breath. The broadcast continued, but the words no longer registered. All I could hear was the pulse pounding in my ears, the cold sweat dripping sound. Trying down my face, I blinked, and the figure was gone. The voice on the broadcast chuckled once more. This is just the beginning. We'll be seeing you again. The broadcast ended abruptly, leaving me in suffocating silence. I didn't sleep that night too afraid of what might come next. The next day, I searched for any information about the midnight broadcast, but there was nothing. No station, no recordings, no mentions anywhere online. It was as if it never existed, but I knew it did. I heard it, I saw them. That was last night. Now it's exactly midnight again. The radio is broken, my phone is off, but I hear it once more. Welcome back to the midnight broadcast.